Blessings and peace on the 19th of May. We have promises of God this week. As we're talking of the promises of God, Matthew 28, 20, as Jesus is teaching, he says, and surely I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. That promise is one that goes all the way back. It's all the way back to our Hebrew scriptures as we have Joshua 1, 9 saying, um, have I not, uh, Joshua doesn't say it, God says it, <laughs> have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And Isaiah, yes, from Isaiah the prophet 41, fear not, for I am with you, do not be dismayed. I am your God and I will strengthen you. I will help you and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So why am I giving all of these various quotes? Because God is with us. In fact, Emmanuel, God with us, that, you, that word name we use for Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. I use that because as we are going through all of this or whatever we are going through in all of our life. Sometimes we have those moments where we, we really wonder, is God with us? Is God with us? And Small Miracles, it's one of the books that I have read and there's a, a whole collection of them. And I love all of the stories. So these authors went out and just wanted to collect those inspirational stories about the ways in which people have found God with them. And there's a great story that they share of Julia Dixon, who had just locked herself out of her house and the mailman came up and Miss Dixon was just being very, very frustrated. And she's sitting on her porch and she just, uh, how could this happen? And she's just thinking of all of the negative things and she really can't afford to call the locksmith. And, you know, she can't bring her husband home from work right now. And, oh, calamity, calamity, calamity. And, you know, the, the mailman is sympathetic, but he has to go on his way. And as he's doing this, what he says is, well, I'm going to hand you the mail and who knows, maybe there's some, some good news in one of the letters. And he hands her the letters and there's a letter from her brother, Jonathan. And Jonathan says, I bet you're wondering, you know, why I'm writing you so soon. And in the envelope, he says, I'm writing you because when I stayed with you, you gave me this key so that I could come and go and I forgot to return it to you. So I'm mailing it back to you. And she uses the key and unlocks the door. And so, you know, the believer will believe that that was a miracle. And the non-believer will believe that that is coincidence. And you can believe that there's chaos in my house right now. It's what we do with what's happening in our lives. Because God is with us, even unto the end of the age. Romans reminds us that nothing will shake us, not death, nor life, or angels, or rulers, things present, or things to come, powers, or heights, or depths, or anything else. Nothing separates us from the love of God. In that story that I just told from Small Miracles, what I see is that the hand of God moves in all of these things. And we are much more richly blessed if we're able to see it and celebrate it and enjoy it in the same way that I can somehow enjoy even the chaos when it's happening and I don't get rattled because 
it's really pretty awesome. So may God bless us and keep us, because God is with us, laughing and enjoying and celebrating every moment of every day with us, no matter what's happening. If there's good news coming, surprise keys that will let us in whatever door we need, or if we simply have to sit and wait a little bit longer. God bless you today and every day. Amen. Await promises.